subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for ClickSense Data Architect. So let's get started. Question number 1, mention the security mechanism in ClickView. Your answer is, 1. It can either be built into the ClickView document script 2. It can be set up through the use of ClickView Publisher. Question number 2, define authentication. Your answer is, authentication is defined as a process that can verify if someone is who they claim they are. ClickView either let the Windows operating system do the authentication, or prompt for a user ID and password or use the ClickView license key as a simple authentication method. Question number 3, what do you understand by user ID? Your answer is, user ID is defined as a field that includes an approved user ID. ClickView will prompt for a user ID and compare it to the value in this field. Moreover, this user ID is not the same as the Windows user ID. Question number 4, how to hide data in a document from a user based on the section access login. Your answer is, 1. Fields or columns can be hidden by the use of the system field omit. 2. Records or rows can be hidden by linking the section access data with the real data. Question number 5, what is the difference between ClickView and ClickSense? Your answer is, Click View is based on guided analytics. Whereas, ClickSense offers self-service data discovery. Secondly, ClickSense offers self-service data discovery that considers the data model, the layout, the charts, and the formulas. Moreover, analysts are free to create new apps, visualizations, and bookmarks. It means there is less data development in the beginning because ClickSense app developers do not need to build scripts that meet every user's need. Lastly, ClickSense is much easier to use than Click View. Question number 6, list some data load limitations. Your answer is, the amount of data that can be loaded into a ClickView document is very large. A ClickView document cannot have more than 2,147,483,648 distinct values in one field. Question number 7, how does ClickView helps in making new documents? Your answer is, a click view document consists of a number of sheets that contain graphical charts, and other sheet objects that allow the user to interact and analyze the data. Moreover, click view allows you to design and create your own clear, interactive charts and other sheet objects, and position them on the sheets in the document. Question number 8, what is list box? Your answer is, the list box is the most basic sheet object. It contains a list of all possible values of a specific field. Moreover, a list box may also contain a cyclic or drill down group. Question number 9 What is the use of an expressions tab? Your answer is The expressions tab define expressions to be displayed in the list box. Each expression will be placed in a new column in the list box. Question number 10 Mention the components of alerts. Your answer is 1. A condition. 2. A logical state. 3. One or more actions to be performed when the condition is checked, and evaluates to true. Question number 11, what do you understand by key performance indicators? Your answer is, key performance indicators are used to evaluate the performance of a company. The KPIs display to what amount a number of goals have been reached. Different organizations have different goals, and it is important that the goals are well defined so that they are valid and reliable. Question number 12. What is Bacchus now or formalism? Your answer is, the click sense command line syntax and script syntax are described in a notation called Bacchus now or formalism, also known as BNF code. Question number 13. List the different types of operators. Your answer is, there are two types of operators. First, unary operators, take only one operand. Second, binary operators, take two operands. Question number 14, what are bit operators? Your answer is, a bit operator converts the operands to signed integers and returns the result in the same way. All the transactions are performed bit by bit. If an operand cannot be interpreted as a number, the operation will return null. Question number 15, explain the function of the string operators? Your answer is, 
There are two string operators. One uses the string values of the operands and return a string as result. Whereas, the other one compares the operands and returns a boolean value to indicate match. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.